Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, then welcome. Today I'll be doing my TBR for the Smutathon. So this is a romance themed readathon. So of course I'm totally into it. I knew I had to join. Since I love reading books that have romance in it, it's one of my favorite genres. This readathon does have reading challenges and I will leave a link to the announcement video down in the description. So if you're interested in this readathon, you can find out all the details for it. And all the reading challenges are different romance tropes that you have to find books that fit those tropes and read them for the readathon. So let's just get in to my TBR for this readathon. The first challenge is an enemies to lovers book, my favorite romance trope. So I'm excited about this challenge. For that one, I picked Scorch by Jay Lynn, aka Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the second book to her book Frigid, which I read last month, and I really wanted to get to the sequel. The sequel follows different characters than the ones that were in the first book, but the relationship in this book is a hate to love relationship, so I'm really excited to read that since it is my favorite romance trope. And this book fits this challenge and I really need to get to it, so I am really excited for it. Next one is a trope that is also one of my favorites. I love this romance trope. That is to read a book about friends to lovers. For this one, I chose Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. This book has been on my TBR for years and years and years and I still haven't gotten to it. I know this is a very polarizing book. I know that it is problematic that the relationship is pretty unhealthy but I think that's what the book is actually about. I could be wrong about that but I have heard really mixed things about this book so my expectations are kind of low but I'm still really interested in it. So we'll just see how it goes. We'll see how my feelings fall toward this one. The third challenge is to read a book about a second chance romance. For this one, I chose Bad Romeo. This is a new adult book that I've heard quite a bit about and I've been interested in. I know it is about these two characters who are in a play doing Romeo and Juliet and they had a relationship, had a falling out, and I think it's about them coming back together. So it is a second chance romance. I don't read a lot of books surrounding this trope, so I am really interested to read this one. The next one is to read a book about fake dating. I also love this one. I love a lot of these romance tropes, so I'm gonna say that for every single one. For this one, I chose The Fill in Boyfriend by Casey West. This is actually a young adult contemporary, whereas most of the books I chose for this readathon are all new adults. But I'm making an exception for this one because I really wanna get to it. This whole book surrounds the fake dating trope. It's about this girl whose boyfriend broke up with her right before prom. So she needs a date. She wants to appear as if she has a date to the prom. So she finds this like random guy in the parking lot of the school, asks him to be her fake boyfriend. They go to prom together. And then I think they kind of keep up this route and she actually starts to fall for him for real. It sounds really cute. I keep saying how much I need to read more of Casey West's book since I've only read one book by her and I loved it. That was P.S. I Like You. So I really hope I do love this one as well. Next one is an interesting one. That is to read a book about an arranged marriage. So for this one, I'm going to reread a book and that is The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. This is also another young adult book and it's not specifically a romance book. It is actually a fantasy. I remember the first time I read this book, I really enjoyed it, but it's been so long since I read it and I keep telling myself that I want to continue on with the series since this is a first book in a series, but I forgot all about the first book. So I need to reread the first book in order to, to continue on with the series. So this is the perfect opportunity to reread it. This is a book about a girl who is a princess and she is going to be married to a prince who she's never met. So that's where the arranged marriage trope falls in. But she doesn't want to do this, so she ends up running away to a different town. There are two people who are trying to find her. The first is the prince she was supposed to marry. The second is an assassin who has been sent out to kill her. And the cool thing about this book is you don't know who is the assassin and who is the prince. And the cool thing is, is that I actually forgot who is the assassin and who is the prince. So I'm going to be going into this book 
completely blind because I don't remember who was the prince and who was the assassin, which I think is awesome because I get to experience the plot twist of this book all over again. You would have thought I would have remembered something like that, but I actually don't. So I'm going to go into this book blindly again. I'm looking forward to rereading it. I do remember that the first time I read this book, I really enjoyed it. Number six is Stranded Together. So you have to read a romance book where two characters are stranded together. I absolutely do love that trope. I don't read it often, but it's also another one I really like. And for this one, I chose On the Island. I've seen recommendations for this book so many times that I just really need to read it. It is a student-teacher relationship. I have like a guilty pleasure for student-teacher relationships. The biggest reason why is because I love forbidden love stories, so that's probably why I love that trope so much. So I'm excited to read this one. And a student and this teacher get stranded on an island and it's all about their developing relationship. I'm really excited to see how this one plays out. I've been interested in it for so long. And the last challenge is to read a book that has a love triangle. So I am doubling up on this one with The Kiss of Deception because this book has a love triangle with it, so it fits perfectly and it gives me the opportunity to double up on a challenge since it's super hard for me to read seven books in a week, so I kind of do need to double up. So if I do get to this book, I'll be able to knock out two challenges with it. So that was my TBR for the Smutathon. I'm really excited for this brand new readathon. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm happy to be reading romance books for an entire week because I absolutely love them. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more bookish related videos. Also be sure to click that bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you are notified when I post new videos. And if you want to see more from me outside of YouTube, be sure to follow my social media. Those links will be down in the description box below. And I'll be back really soon. Bye!